it's nearly an ow. It's nearly an empty sink. I was just gonna show off the sink, but this pan is dirty. If you wanna see why these pans are dirty, please check out the cooking consortium where I cook Z cooks, M cooks. Jay occasionally cooks, or he did in the past, but he still bring it to the future. And the lovely P cooks, and she also is the one that un does all these unboxings, like manages them for me. So if I ask her to link things, she has to. Link to the cooking consortium. And link to a P cooks in the description. There's a link to a P cooks in the description. You're gonna watch her cook something, y'all, and she gets to pick out which it is. Oh, oh. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Braun, 10 out of 10, yes. But is that how you spelled it in Game of Thrones? Remember when Game of Thrones was good? God, what a, what a time to be alive. Like literally all you needed was to meet a girl online and be like, hey, you watch Game of Thrones? And she would of course say yes, because fucking who hasn't watched Game of Thrones? And then you would like make sweet love down by the fire and just talk about how cool Braun was. And then they ruined every character in the last two seasons. And the thing is, we didn't see it till the eighth season, but the seventh season sucked. Ah, so man send me this pasta. I don't know if you're gonna find this somewhere. I'll keep that back. Of course, this is a class A amp. And it's strange as fuck that it's not on Amazon. Oh, he included a little cable. Actually, it's a really nice auxiliary cable with a little 90. So. This is either a kit or they sell it like this. I'll do a better job wrapping that up. Yeah, look at that thing. There's your tube. There's five heat sinks around the outside. There's five feet. There's your the thing to stop the thing from happening. There's your knob. I mean, what is it? Wow, this is the lightest. It's a 24 volt 3 amp that I it feels like there's nothing inside of it. He did not have to include this. Damn it. Do not include this. Note to people of the future. If you send me something, don't include this wire, because guess what? I got 70 of these, and I'm going to lose yours. It's gone now. So maybe I'll just take both of his wires. Although those cable creations one is now in the recycle bin. It's pretty nice. I do need this. I don't need this. Or this, for that matter. I don't want to lose things. I don't like losing people's stuff, because now it's like, ah, oh, shit. It's going to sit next to me for four weeks, and I'm going to have this. i got to put a label on this. Gakun, Gakun. So it's just a headphone amp. Where's the output? There's the output. So that was the input. That's the output. There's the power. There's not much else to say. Pretty sure there's not even a button to turn it on. I think it just is. There's your bias adjustments there. There's king size. Um, top tip for those of you who are actually going to the cooking consortium. I haven't said this on there yet. Thomas's king size English muffins. These are pasta link to Thomas's king size English muffins. These are the best. And don't argue with me, you motherfuckers. I see you. These are the best things to put a burger on. I'll wait here while you try. I'm so strong. Big strong man. The nooks and crannies. You put mayo on the bottom. You put, oh my god, he's even got a picture of it. Look at that. I just realized. Boom! They really are. It's, it's ideal. Regular English muffins, a little bit too small. Onion stuff. This. Ah. So I have a set of headphones that JDM what? Uh, said I had to buy. And then JDM what? Told me I had to get these pads for it. These are the oval gels. I love the silica packet in there. And these have, these are brain waves. Yes, pasta. These are from Amazon. They actually finally got them on there. They're the Brainways Oval Micro Suede GL Black. Because they have a cooling gel layer right under the suede. And apparently these make the HyperX Cloud Alphas the best headphones. So now, I think these are 25 fucking dollars. And I will, look, they also fit on top of the king size things. Let's just bring the English muffins over. But apparently, that's what I need to make the Cloud Flights. HyperX Cloud Flights, she'll link those as well. Um, the best wireless headphones, but they're not Bluetooth wireless, which means you gotta have a dongle, which means they're not really wireless because you're the tag, tag computer, I don't know. Are you ready? Australia. So I have the, um, 
ionforge.com, I believe. Hi, Steve. As mentioned here, some uh, replacement highlight color parts for both the Iron Forge headphone stand and speaker stands I sent you last month. Oh, the blue parts of the headphone stand you come with the video review. They'll be look better on your desk setup. So, okay. So he sent me the headphone stand with the yellow and then the speaker stands with the blue and red because that's what I requested. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I also included black as an option. So I think you could order all these colors separately. He just probably saw them and, oh God, people are going to think they're children's toys like Pasta thought they were children's toys. But these are the silicone tops for the Ion Forge speaker stands in black. If you're boring, and then if you want to change out to black for the headphone stand, or he included blue for the headphone stand and all the replacement legs and clips. I'm amazing that it replaces the clips and the legs and everything else. So don't need to go over this much. If you don't know what I'm talking about, link in the description for the Ion Forge speaker stands. Uh, thank you, Simon. Can I put this somehow on top of those? You got lucky. How long have I been doing this one? See, I don't know the length. This, usually when you see Japan postage paid, everyone's like, oh God, Zeos, why do you keep buying anime figures? What are you, some sort of internet pervert? And I'm like, kinda. I mean, it's better that everyone knows and not finds out later. Like, if I sent dick pics to everybody, I'd be like, hey, in case my dick pics leak, here's my dick pic. Like, put on the back of my in of my business cards and hand them out at RMF. Would I get arrested for that? Probably. That's a probably right there. I don't know what the charge would be, but I mean... <sighs> my day was going so well. This is a first, however, all right? I'm not completely destroyed because this is a box from Japan. These are Japanese fucking packing peanuts. Let's pick one up and analyze. Give me a give me a winner. It's very light. Has a good outer thickness. Very hard to rip. Very hard, almost impossible to rip. Wow, they crush. If I crush this, does it stay crushed? Let's leave that one on the side while I crushed it. Interesting. I've never had a packing peanut. I couldn't. I can get it if you get a real. You gotta get a real bite on the edge. Then they tear, and you can see the fluffy inside. Much fluffier inside than on the outside, like a cotton ball almost. Um. Not returning back to short to sh form. These actually feel nice to touch. I might love these. Maybe I love these. Because the, re the the styrofoam ones, like they they break and you get those little pieces and you know what? I'm a, I'm I can't even cut it. There you go. Hmm. Yes, Japan even does popcorn peanuts better. Anyway. Um, this actually came from Amazon. This was an Amazon free delivery order, and someone mentioned it, and I had... <sighs> look at this. Look what I could do. Look what, look what I can do. Why? Japan, why are you so good to me? J Japan, G good luck doing that with other packing peanuts from other fucking countries. I could literally just crush them into a ball. I'm gonna have to keep these and package other things in them because they're so amazing. You know what? I'm not throwing out any more. I will save this box with these peanuts. Something in the Patreon yard sale will be reshipped re in these peanuts. Because you crush them and they stay crushed. And they, they don't break and they can't even cut it. Oh my god. I'm so jealous, Giguk. He moved to Japan. Look, they don't even have. They don't even like static electricity cling to things. See, now I'm pissed. Not because I hate packing peanuts, but because apparently America sucks at making them. <sighs> I love these. I love these. I'd have to order them from Japan. Okay. Okay. Fucking up in their game. Every fucking time I talk to anybody in Japan, fuck. 
Okay, moving on. This I ordered from Amazon. I might not be on sale anymore, Pasta. You might have to go to my orders. This is a Kenwood amplifier. Kenwood. My father actually, to this day, still has a light. Like he used to work at Nobody Beats the Wiz and he used to get all the, the stuff where they were advertising. They would bring like custom lights in. He's got like a Kenwood desk light. It says Kenwood. And I'd love to play with that. Satisfaction with both your order and our service is our ultimate aim. Bubba, 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 sincerely yours. Uh, that probably has stuff on it. No. Um, so this is the KA-NA7 amplifier from Kenwood, which has Bluetooth, MP3, WMA, Wave, FLAC, has near field communication is the K series. I have never reviewed a Kenwood product. Hell, I've never owned a Kenwood product. In fact, I don't think my father ever owned a Kenwood product. I think we just had that sign. So uh, I took a, took a chance. This is three hundred fucking dollars, and there was only two left on Amazon, and it was free shipping, and it was free shipping from Japan. So let's see. Oh, comes with a ballon which is literally a magnetic casing that you put on your wire, but it's not a bullshit one like Audiophiles will sell you because they actually have balance on things currently. So here's a bag. Inside said bag is another bag. Inside that bag is the remote. Ooh. As far as little shitty plastic remotes go that are made in China, and this one is made in China, that one's actually pretty nice. So we got power, sleep, Bluetooth, up, Stop, USB, down, folder, next track, last track, play, pause, display, audio in, digital in, PC in, Bluetooth standby, Bluetooth pairing, muting, bass, treble, volume. Okay. Oh my god, I had a slight heart attack just now. It's going, oh my lord, please tell me this is set to work on a US plug. And it is. They use a shitty wire tie, though. Uh, I, I can't, I don't know, I don't know how. This, that's a shitty wire tie. It's straight in the garbage. <sighs> Always when you first get it, just give it like a, a nice, like, fucking your hand up pull. <sighs> 12 volt, 2.5 amp. It's beefy, and it's got Japanese letters on it, and it says JVC. I don't even have to label this, because guess what? Wait a second. I do have to label this. It says JVC, get yeah, this is a Kenwood. Does JVC own Kenwood? Japan Victor Company. I know what JVC stands for. Do they own Kenwood? I guess I will have to label it. It's a very smooth, like, can I talk about this for a second? This is like, I don't usually give much thought to the Transformer, but this is overly nice today. What do we end in? A very strange coaxial terminal. Definitely not the standard plug. So we got, a, uh, it looks like the standard plug till you look in there. Then there's a single very small pin and a large, large hole. Let's put that down. Put it down without smashing it. How the fuck? Goddamn, someone's granddaddy in Japan was a die cutter. That's the sign of Japanese, by the way, is that styrofoam, the old school styrofoam. And look, you can't actually even open it this way. But I'm gonna, so I can push the back of this out. I'm pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to go, but I, I did it anyway. Why do they use this foam? Why can they perfect packing peanuts, but they can't get rid of this foam and not use Kaizen foam? That's the one thing that we got better. This book looks to be entirely in Japanese. Let's find out. The remote control's got English on it. I guess I'll open this next unboxing because we're ready. We're already way late. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is there's no English. Alright. Time to go on the internet. Find a fucking copy of this in English. Not like it's gonna be super hard. I mean there's pictures. As long as there's pictures, I'm happy. It's not about keeping my viewership informed. It's about keeping Zeos happy. Anime booby happy. Emma Watson happy. Well, old Emma Watson, not current, no longer a woman Emma Watson. She feminist now. Ooh, hoo, hoo. this is strangely light for how nice it is. 
Whoa. Okay, so what are we looking at? We've got a box that says Kenwood Digital Integrated Amplifier. It says Bluetooth, here's your near field, here's your power switch on the top. Front's got a little screen, USB for USB key I saw there. Standby light, infrared receiver, or maybe power light, I'm not sure, probably infrared receiver. Phone output is three and a half millimeter. You got a play and a source button made of metal, nice. Whole thing's super light, this is plastic. If this was metal, it would cost more than the $300 I spent. Although that knob, oh shit. All right, the knurling, this is a metal knob with that knurling and it's rough. It's like it's sanded in that knurling. It's digital, so it spins forever. We've got a notch on top with an LED that's gonna be, I guess, your indicator because they don't have a spinning indicator. It says volume. Nothing. Metal bottom, more vents in the plastic. Little tiny feet. Made in Malaysia. So not made in Japan, but this is obviously a Japan only thing. Back has audio in three and a half millimeter. Digital input, which is actually slightly crooked. Fiber optic, a PC in, which is a USB mini. Micro, USB micro. And then the smallest little speaker terminals I ever done seen. And there's your DC in, which has a ring with another little ring in it, because that's fucking weird. Do not lose that, you will not find one of those easily. So I, I, I'm honestly, I can't wait to try this thing. I can't wait, I can't wait. Well, give me, give me that Kenwood, bro. Let's put the little, you have to pry these open, hold on. There, see it opened up, there's your two halves of the magnet. I don't, and I don't know why they don't like attach this to begin with, but usually what I would see is you'd go in once and then run it through again. So you'd have like a loop and clip that down. There you go. So then it can pull any bad transient juju out of your plug. Whoa! That like clips in. Japan, you wow me. You're my everything. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll post a link to everything and those bell bottom pants that I got you. You don't have to show anybody in them. The link to the ones I got you, because they fancy.